Yeah, so you were just talking about <clears throat> all the possibilities, you know, and the, and the, the causes of music. Yeah, if you care that much about it, see, if you care that much about it. Now, you know, just very sp specific, you know, uh, let's say, scale of consciousness, cis. But we don't necessarily expect outside of yoga where that scale is more or less relevant to uh, that, that people who are in the ordinary field of music are, are going to need that see, necessarily because it's a system so, whereas in, in the world of music everything and anything is, is up for grabs and you use whatever you feel see, but without specificity you say, oh, I heard this in music, so then it's a song, it's a tune, it's a melody, it's, it's kind of an emotion, a representation, right? Right? Uh, sadness, of happiness, of romance, and you know, exhilaration, and um, you know, um, let's say joy, and so on and so forth. See? And see, and they, but they're not relative to planes, as in the case of the, the yogic system, but you know, that's just as valid. It's, Whatever you need to do out there, you do. Whatever appears to you that you feel you need to imitate or reflect back to society or music, you do it instinctively, right? intuitively. You do it. Say, no, I love this music. I just heard this artist, even though they're out of the genre that I'm used to. It, I, Whoa, listen to this melody. And sometimes you have these breakthrough melodies that come through and the lyrics that come through that belong to everybody. They're all the same. It's like we all feel the same thing because we're all we're all living beings in in the heart. We're all the soul, but not everybody uh, represents uh, what they're doing in terms of the soul. That is, let's say, uh, universally the case. Like Hindu soul, uh, black soul, Spanish soul, native soul, uh, say intellectual soul, uh, you know, cosmic soul. But a good melody is, I think, representing the soul in everybody. You, know, you, you, have, you have these classics in the field, which I'm getting into names and artists, uh, that you know, represent all of us. Right? And so that's the beauty of it. So the scientific approach that is here, uh, 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 what is the word, uh, offered as a scale is useful for some, but not for other people. Right? That can be useful, right? especially for psychologists who say, "No, this is this is a, a causal plane. This is, this is specifically causal plane music. See, it's all about the time track, okay? memories. It's how we're going to go through memory. All music is memory, anyway. See? Right? Or just emotion. Say, no, this is just emotion. So it could be you know, instructive." Right, and useful to some people. Right? It has an academic basis. See? And it can help others to know that what they've been playing or what they have been conditioning themselves with was one plane or another. And, and then once they get it and they say, oh, there are other planes, and you know, you go, go on up, up the ladder of different planes depending on who the composer is and what the composition is or what the genre is of the music. See? So scientists are going to look at all of it. See, those who are creators will want to check it all out and see if there's anything there for, for them. And so it's up to the individual to have their their influences and what they want to move towards or well, what I think they it, want to accomplish. Well, I, think it's, I think it's important to know what the, the yogic scales are. You know, the yogic, I don't mean Hindu, Hindu music necessarily, but I mean by yogic I mean the different planes. Right, that we have multiple bodies and multiple di dimensions of consciousness. Right, that we, we can relate to emotion. Right, we can relate to physical music, drumming music, or just physical music as interpreted by the individual whose body will tell it, him or her, what is physical music and how it's you know, uh, impounding uh, on their brain or imposing itself on their brain, and then what is more, more let's say, subtle music and so on. You know lighter forms of music. Your brain is going to tell you what that is for you. We, we, we hope and we, we expect that to be the case.